Let's take a closer look at inventory issues and price alerts. To recap, inventory alerts indicate that your inventory in a fulfillment center can't be sold for one of a few different reasons, and price alerts let you know when an item in your inventory may be mispriced. Items in your inventory may be designated as unfulfillable when they are damaged, defective, or otherwise unfit for sale or shipment. If damage occurs while products are under our control, you can seek reimbursement for the products according to the Fulfillment by Amazon Lost and Damaged Inventory Reimbursement Policy. If the damage occurs while it is not under our control, or if the unit is defective, you can create a removal order. More on that in a second. First, here's a quick roundup of the product condition codes used in our fulfillment centers. Sellable units are returned to stock and available for purchase. No action is required on your part. Warehouse damaged, carrier damaged, distributor damaged, or defective units are set aside as unsellable and available for return. If customer damaged units are returned to a fulfillment center, they are also set aside as unsellable. You can request to have them returned to you as well. Doing so is called a removal order. You can see your unfulfillable inventory and corresponding condition codes in Seller Central. Head over to your Manage Inventory page and click the Remove Unfulfillable Inventory filter up top. These filters only appear if you have listings requiring your attention. In this case, you would need to have unfulfillable inventory. To the right of each unfulfillable item, you'll see the condition code explaining why it can't be fulfilled. You can get started on a removal order for this particular item or all your unfulfillable inventory in that same dropdown, or you can use the button at the top of the page. Let's move on to stranded inventory. These are items that are in a fulfillment center but without a matching listing allowing them to be sold on Amazon. They may also have a merchant fulfilled listing rather than one for FBA. You have two options here. You can either create a removal order to have the inventory sent back to you, or you can change fulfillment to FBA. You can begin either process by clicking the Actions dropdown next to each item, or select multiple items and use the Actions dropdown just above the status column. Last but not least, let's look at price alerts. Listings with potential pricing errors may be deactivated to avoid a potentially negative customer experience, and you'll be notified when an item in your inventory might be mispriced. An example would be an accidentally misplaced decimal point, resulting in an unusually high or low price. To find these, go to the Manage Inventory page and click the Price Alerts link at the top of the page. That'll give you items with a potential pricing error. The status column lets you know if an item is blocked and why. If you have a price alert, you can either confirm that this is the intended price or update your offer. Adjust your price as necessary and click Reactivate to confirm. Alternately, you can deactivate the listing completely by choosing Closed Listing. You can avoid future price alerts by setting the minimum and maximum allowed selling price for each product in your inventory. That way, we'll only alert you if your offer price falls outside your price range. Otherwise, our systems will continue to use internal data to help detect potential pricing errors. And that's a wrap. You should now be able to quickly resolve any listing defects, inventory issues, or pricing alerts to keep your business running smoothly. Happy selling!